Hey there everybody, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Conker's Pocket Tales! Right, so in the last episode, we... Um... What did we do in the last episode? We finished up Mako Islands, didn't we? Yeah, that was it. We finished up Mako Islands and we were doing some... Exploration stuff before we head over to the final... World. And I did say in the last episode we are going to head over to Vultureville, so that's our next destination. So let's head over there now, shall we? Oh no, that's the windmill. <laughs> I want to head over to the windmill, dude. Yeah, but a lot of stuff in the overworld we need the pickaxe for, but you can only get that in Cool Swamp, so... We won't be doing any stuff in the overworld until we've actually got that from Claw Swamp. Because Claw Swamp is actually the world that has most of the items in it. Has all the... Pre has a lot of the presence in it. Alright, okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> damn it, dude, Mushroom's trying to kill me, Toad's trying to kill me, guys. He's coming from Mario, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna go in, he's gonna come in his go-kart and he's gonna run me over. Stop spilling your bananas, dude. You're gonna spin out of control and have a seizure. Alright, okay. Uh, so the barn is this way. Uh, I wanna try and pick you off from the, behind the tree. So I don't have to go near you and then you go spewing your fireballs at me and then I burn my ass. I'm just a furry squirrel, trying to live my life in a peaceful town. I mean, this place looks very peaceful, but like, there's so many enemies trying to kill me and stuff. I just want to have a happy life. This music is so cheery and everything, and you guys just want to kill me. I mean, what happened to being happy? Why do you have to be so aggressive? Okay, so this is the house that leads to Vultureville. And we do need the saw, which we have. I don't know if the, like I, 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 I'm not sure if the, there's only one present that I want to get from Vultureville, and there's only one present that I know of that I can get in Vultureville, but I don't know if there are any more that I can get in Vultureville. Because I'm not sure if there are presents in here that are guarded by boulders that you need to use the pickaxe for. And yes, there is, so we have to come back here after we've done Claw Swamp too. So this is pretty much the only other, other world that we'll have to backtrack to after we've done Claw Swamp got everything in there because look there's a red present right there but I do know that there is a bush we can cut down in Vultureville um, <clears throat> with our saw and I think those are the only two presents we can get from here so uh, as far as I'm aware but I will still go ahead and look around and check things out because you never know you could end up missing on s miss m missing something <laughs> By accident. Commentary's gone a bit crazy here, I think. I almost screwed up on my voice trying to talk. Yeah, let's go check out the graveyard. We have to go through the Undertaker's house, though, to get there. Let's see if his back door is open. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> um. Alright, snakes. Yeah. Cherry pies! You don't understand the rage that quells within my heart. Ah, oh, damn it! I can't believe I died! What the hell's going on here, dude? And I'm in the wrong house. I'm in the Smithy's place. Yeah, I had to go all the way back from... from the overworld to get here. And I was just thinking of something random to say, so I just said cherry pies. <laughs> yeah, being crazy. Okay, so... Now we need to go this way. Yes, we need to go this way, and we need to kill the snake, and we need to kill this 
bird thing that just killed me earlier. Yeah, you know what, bird? You know what, bird? Ha ha! Ha ha! Screw you! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Dude, you're gonna end up in one of those graves. And I'm gonna shit and piss all over it. I'm gonna take a massive dump all over your grave, and that's where the soil's gonna be. The soil's gonna be made out of my own poop. Alright, is there anything in here? Nope. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it for Vultureville. I, I, like, I think it's only just those two presents that I need to get. Because I've got the ones underwater. I've got all the ones from doing the main quest stuff. So that's practically it. As far as I'm aware, until we get the pickaxe from Claw Swamp, then we can come back here again and get that last present. And I'm, and I'm pretty sure that'll be the last present I'll get in the whole, um, on, in this whole collection video. Oh, these whole collection videos, not this whole collection video. This ain't gonna be one whole video of me going around collecting everything. You'll be kidding me. There's a whole bunch of stuff we need to go back for. Crow Keep is gonna be easy because there's only one person in there that I know of that I need to get. But that requires the saw, which we have, so... Uh, that'll, that's what I'll be doing in the next episode, because I'm going to make these videos kind of short. Uh, there's no point in making any cuts or anything like that. Un unless there were um, situations that just happen now, where I end up getting teleported straight back to the overworld. You know, things like that. <laughs> I will cut out, but... Like, unnecessary things I won't cut out. Like, if I die in the world, and like I only have to go back a few paces to get back to where I was. Like, I won't cut that out, because that'd be stupid. Alright, so there's the red present that we came back for, and that gives us up to a total of seven. So we're doing pretty good here on red presents, because they're like the rare ones to find. And they boost up your ratings, so... So do invitations, too. They give more of a uh, rating boost. Yeah, to come to think of it, there are some invitations in the overworld that I need to get still as well. So, there are presents and invitations that I need to get. And I just died. I don't think I lost that present, did I? I didn't, I, I'm not sure if I saved. But that's basically all I wanted to do for this episode. I just wanted to make it short, snappy, simple and easy. Didn't want to make it long or anything. Because there's no point in me making these videos long. Because it's not going to take me that long, you know, to go back to each every each world that we've been to. We don't have to go back to Macau Islands anymore, so we can just cross that off our list. So all that's left is Claw Swamp, the Overworld, and Crow Keep, and Vultureville. But Crow Keep, that's just easy. I could just go there right now and get it. But I'll do that in the next episode because um, it won't take me. Like, cause I, like I said, I just want to make this video short. Ah, oh, damn it! I got to go back and get that. Well, considering I have full health, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and I'll just end it off in this world, but probably meet you back in the overworld. Because I'm not going to show you me exiting in the next episode. Because I'll just waste time. And time we don't have to waste. There you go. Alright, there's your present. Okay, yeah, I'm going to end off the episode here, and I'm going to make a save before I do. So, I will see you all in my next episode of Let's Play Conker's Pocket Tales. Um, so, yeah, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take care, buddy, see you in the next video, and goodbye.